And after the Milwaukee Bucks decided not to play for their scheduled playoff game on Wednesday, it did spark conversation about police and profiling. CBS 4's Jeremiah Wilcox spoke to an NBA player about his short and scary experience dealing with the McAllen PD. Hey! Hey, what's going on, though? It was an incident that happened last year for NBA player Marquise Moore. We were in uh, McAllen playing the Vipers. After the game, he went out to enjoy the nightlife. It was like 2 a.m., and we were, uh, yeah, just got out probably like five minutes after. Um, we were standing on the sidewalk trying to figure out who's going to call the Uber because we got to get back to the hotel. That's when police approached him. He's telling us we had to move. We had to get off the street and go home. So I said, okay, like, we'll, we'll be leaving. Like, surely we're waiting, we're waiting on the Uber right now. So he said, all right, just make it quick. Five minutes later, Moore says the same officer came back. Yeah, I can tell you he's aggravated, agitated. He was arrested after not moving. But I was the only one to be cuffed. And escorted to the back of the officer's car. What do you do, though? What's what going on? Say? Turned me around, put my hands behind my back, and uh, cuffed me. And then... Um, Kind of like dragged me through the middle of the street. He was released and never charged with a crime. The McAllen Police Department says, quote, we have checked for any record regarding this matter. We do not have any incident record, arrests, or charges in this matter. There's no pending investigation or pending charges in this matter. In every circumstance, we attempt through our actions to render situations safe for everyone. We believe that we assist and that we help all persons to stay safe and free from harm, end quote. Officers shooting Jacob Blake seven times in the Milwaukee Bucks striking for change is what prompted Moore to share his story on social media. I don't really post my private life on the internet, but I just felt like, you know, the current times, I shouldn't keep that story in because, um, you know, I think people need to be made aware of, like, how it is to live as a black man in America, black woman. He has a glimmer of hope. Things are getting better uh, slowly, but like I said, I think things will always be difficult for black people in America and, just, and harder for people of color in general. That was Jeremiah Wilcox reporting. Moore says he didn't file a complaint because he was happy he didn't have to go to jail since he had to leave the valley early the next morning.